really look at this, there's seven inches of pass, okay? Here's seven inches, low slump, problem area, come down. If you look at anybody's wall structures, people are like, oh, we printed the first house. We did this, we did that. We printed a house with no COO. We printed a shed with a roof on it and called it a house. Honestly, all you gotta do is go back and look at any video you've ever looked at. Zoom in, do your part. You, you have to ask the right questions. You have to know what to ask. Was this printed in sections? Was this uh, printed all in one pass? Because if you can't print a eight foot wall in one pass, start to finish, you have no business being out there trying to print or pretend that you can print homes, okay? I can print shit like this. I can put 50 people on this afterwards that are adding material on top and covering up the fact that I don't know how to print a wall. Before you're worried about printing a house, okay, you really wanna concentrate on being able to print a wall. Any other company out there, if you're not asking, I wanna see you print an eight foot wall. I don't care if it's seven foot, 20 foot, 80 foot. I wanna see a consistent wall, start to finish, okay? And I want it to all look like that. I don't wanna see this, I don't wanna see that. I don't wanna see indentations all the way down. That's the telltale. That's what you need to be asking because there's a lot of smoke and mirrors out there right now. Two years of development wasn't to figure out how to build a printer. It was in figuring out the math and the algorithms and the software that makes it so that you can print something without having to hang your head low.